Shabbat Shalom. Welcome to Two Minutes of Torah, which on Fridays doubles as Thought for Shabbat. So glad to have you all here. Did you hear the one about the woman who showed up at her daughter-in-law's door? The younger missus opened the door and cheerfully asked, how long are you staying, mother-in-law? Mother-in-law answered, as long as I'm welcome. So the daughter-in-law replied, you're not going to even stay for a cup of coffee? There are so many jokes about in-laws and relationships with our in-laws. And this week's Torah portion gives us great insight uh, into the potential of what in-law relationships can be. Moses married to Sipora and has a wonderful relationship with his father-in-law named Yitro or Jethro. And it's quite a fascinating story it tells us. And one might think that Moses in trying to establish his leadership and support his family would keep his father-in-law also very well respected uh, at arm's length. But listen to the way he greets him. He says, Moses went out to meet his father-in-law. He bowed low and kissed him. Each asked the other's welfare for the other's welfare and they went into the tent. They wanted to know about each other. They wanted to know how they were doing, how they were feeling in genuine interest and really love. A few verses later in this portion, which is named for Jethro, for the father-in-law of Moses. A few verses later, Jethro observes his son-in-law working day and night. And finally pulls him aside. He said, listen, I don't want to get involved in your business. I don't want to tell you how to run your life. But let me give you some advice that I think might be helpful. And then Jethro really helps Moses set up the justice system. By the way, it's a justice system we still use in the United States of America today with different levels of different courts. It was great advice. It saved Moses his soul. It saved his energy and allowed him to live a more full life, balancing family and uh, his work. So the lesson for us all is that uh, when we marry someone, we also marry their families. And sometimes that's for worse, but God willing, it's for better. And what makes it better is how we act. Remember, we can never change anybody else. We can only change ourselves. So we put the best version of ourselves forward with our in-laws and try to make relationships that are deep and lasting that will affect the beauty of our lives by adding the blessings of those relationships into our lives. And so it's in that spirit I invite you to, uh, if you have in-laws, to call them this afternoon and wish them a Shabbat Shalom. Don't make it their child's responsibility only to call. You pick up the phone and you call your in-laws. It will have an impact, I promise you. Friends, please join us tonight for family services at 6.30 p.m. And then at 7.30, we will um, have a special Ask the Rabbi with Rabbi Lee Bicell. Rabbi Bicell was my dean in rabbinical school, has written several books, and is really an expert on uh, so many things, particularly on the stories of immigration. Uh, he worked for the Hebrew Union College, for um, so many other organizations that helped people uh, find their way to freedom and to peace and to dignity. And so I really hope that you will join us uh, at 6.30 for services and 7.30 for a lively discussion. You can find um, the links to both of those in this talk for Shabbat or on our webpage. Have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon, a Shabbat Shalom. Stay safe, stay healthy.